are bathing their feet in troubled water And thinking that happiness is but a dream But when you wait on out in the promises that God has given You'll find His heavenly love is a peaceful stream You'll find His heavenly love is a peaceful stream The love of God still flows today from Calvary It's the love that'll wash the vilest sinner clean The heat of life would burn your soul like the heat of the desert You'll find His heavenly love is a peaceful stream You'll find His heavenly love is a peaceful stream oh, When I get to thinking about the heartache Satan puts on me All the things He'll do just to turn my life around But my hopes are free and old Satan flees when I call on my father And his love like a peaceful stream comes pouring down His love like a peaceful stream comes pouring down The love of God still flows today from Calvary It's the love that'll wash the vilest sinner clean When the heat of life would burn your soul Like the heat of the desert You'll find His heavenly love is a peaceful stream You'll find His heavenly love is a peaceful stream Just outside at the door of my heart, he said, I want to abide. 
I opened up my heart and brother, I'm so glad He proved to be the dearest friend that I ever had Somebody's knocking, somebody's knocking, won't you let him in Somebody's waiting, somebody's waiting just to free you from sin Somebody's standing, somebody's standing with his arms open wide Waiting just outside your heart to come inside Somebody's walking, somebody's walking, don't you let him walk away Somebody's listening, somebody's listening, better start now to pray that somebody's Jesus won't you open the door Life won't be the same anymore Friend, if you are standing trying to figure things out This world with all its evil sure can make you doubt Satan's on each corner with a brand new game To keep your heart from ever trusting Jesus' name But in the midst of all of Satan's strife and guilt Just listen and you'll hear the Master's voice so still He's telling you he loves you and he's saying you're free So open up that door and sing this song with me Somebody's knocking, somebody's knocking, won't you let him be Somebody's waiting, somebody's waiting just to free you from sin Somebody's standing, somebody's standing with his arms open wide Waiting just outside your heart to come inside Somebody's walking, somebody's walking, just to let him walk away Somebody's listening, somebody's listening, better start now to pray Brother, that somebody's Jesus wants you open the door Life won't be the same anymore Life won't be the same Somebody's knocking, won't you let him in? Somebody's waiting just to free you from sin Somebody's standing with his arms open wide Waiting just outside your heart to come inside Somebody's walking, don't you let him walk away Somebody's listening, better start now to pray That somebody's Jesus wants you open the door Life won't be the same anymore Life won't be the same anymore Life won't be the same anymore Somebody's knocking God back then, but the king had Daniel thrown into the hungry lion's den. Now them lions walked around him, but they never took one bite, cause God's angels unaware protected Daniel through the night. Now we have angels unaware, watching for us everywhere. They're sent down from God the Father just to keep us in his care. So remember when you're tempted to step into Satan's snare. We are guarded by the presence of His angels unaware. Now I've read about how Peter was in prison one dark night When an angel of the Lord came unto Peter through the light His chains all fell away now while the light shone all about He said, Peter, get your shoes and follow me, I'll leave
Two of my all-time favorite singers would have to be J.D. Sumner and the late, great Tennessee Ernie Ford. I'd like to give my impression of both of them in a song called Swing Down the Cherry. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming for to carry me home. Tell all my friends I'll be a coming home too. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet cherry, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet cherry, coming for to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming for to carry me home. Tell all my friends I'll be a coming home too. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet cherry, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet cherry, coming for to carry me home. Carry me home Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet child Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet child Coming for to carry me home J.D. Coming for to carry me home That never come in To think of the rainbows I chased For the gold To find disillusions of sin But when I found Jesus All that was lacking My life was made so complete And all I had lost In time on my hands Heartaches, my only companion defeat Till I found all heaven was mine for the asking When I traded time on my hands For the good time, time on my Jesus could not fill the void in my life. Each place I journeyed, I met with the yearning to run from my troubles and strife. And in all of my running, my life's endless turning, I found an old altar held peace. And there all the void of the times of my hands was lost. Time on my knees Time on my hands With nothing but heartache My only companion defeat Till I found all heaven Was mine for the essence When I traded time on my hands For the good time Time on my knees I stood a tall old locust tree on a hill above my home, and I would often journey there just to be with God alone. Up there secluded, I spoke freely the hidden things upon my heart. 
I'd often feel up there in prayer, God and I were but breaths apart. At that old spot called the praying tree were the richest of times to afford. How my every need for life is met. Even the soul of my son was restored. I'd feel so honored when the boys came home from a local hunting spree. And I'd ask, where'd you bag that turkey, boys? They'd reply, near the praying tree. Then one day passed, and then another, till a year since that tree I visited. Guess I got too stubborn to go there and pray. Though every day that passed, I'd miss it. And life filled with troubles like mountains of steel, and my every plan crumbled in my hand. Till I looked back to that old praying tree and decided to visit again. I made my way in shame and remorse back up that old mountainside. But when I reached that praying tree, I had to fall on my knees and cry. A storm had blown that stately friend down, and it fell pointing right toward my home, as if to say I waited for you to come and pray, but you were gone. What a story an old locust tree could tell of the altars where we go to pray. How we don't miss talking to Almighty God till our altars are taken away. I kissed the trunk of that old tree and embraced it with tearful care. Oh, others would see just a fallen old tree, but I knew God had talked with me then. I thought of all the peaceful times God and I there would dwell. Then I cried, God, it's not just a tree, but it's I who decayed and failed. And I came off the mountain in bitter tears, feeling like my best friend had died. And for months I thought of that praying tree, lying dead on that mountainside. Then one brisk day as winter was passing, I had to go back once more. So determined I knelt at the trunk of that tree and opened my heart to the Lord. You're the God of life, I cried aloud. You've forgiven and all is well. But Lord, if I could see another praying tree in the place where this one fell. Then the Spirit spoke in tones so clear, saying, Tell thy sons and their sons come and see. I will be to them as I am to thee. And I saw a bird for a new praying tree. Or oh, a private room, an altar in church, on your knees in the rich mountain sod, any place, God, you seek, <laughs> but to me so sweet, that old tree where I talk with God. And somewhere on the hills of glory, where a prayer we'll never need, I believe there will stand one more witness to man, my old friend, that praying tree. I'd like to share a story with you on a little more somber tone that I heard Mr. J.D. Sumner tell. It seems there was an orator invited to come to a banquet hall and give many orations and answer many requests. And near the close of the evening, he asked, ladies and gentlemen, Will there be one more? And an old white-haired retired minister feebly rose to his feet near the end of the banquet hall and said, Sir, would you recite the 23rd Psalm? The orator said, Yes, sir. If after I have recited the 23rd Psalm, you too will come in your own way and recite it for us. The old minister nodded in approval and sat back down. And the orator began. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. And when he had finished, there was a thunderous applause and a standing ovation. And he said, now you, sir, come and please in your own way recite also the 23rd Psalm. Feebly, the old minister rose to his feet again and 
made his way to the podium and with trembling hand took hold of the microphone. And with a tear in his eye as he looked toward heaven and years of his past, and in a voice broken from years of preaching the gospel, he began, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And you know, he leadeth me beside still waters. And he restoreth my old soul when he had finished it. There wasn't a dry eye in the banquet hall. And the orator said, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have reached your ears, but he has reached your heart. And the difference is, I know the 23rd Psalm, but he knows the shepherd. Jesus, 
Said she'd meet me when I come. I am going over Jordan. I'm just going over home. I'm going there to meet my Jesus, whose precious blood my sins atone. I'm just going over Jordan. I'm just going over home. Oh, I wish I was. In a land cut, old hands there are not forgot. Look away, look away, look away, and Dixie's land, and Dixie's land, where I was born. Early Lord, one frosty morn, look away, look away, look away, and Dixie Land, glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, 
the name legend by a mile. Oh, in quoting the Bible, he claimed no great title, but in love gave the world a smile. When I was a boy, I told him one night, too poor to attend music school, I'd hear you sing and try to mimic everything. So my music school teacher, J.D. was you. But later, when years were taking their toll, Mary was in his thoughts every day. He looked out that bus, not in dismay or disgust, but a longing to just steal away. Principle, character, integrity, and love. Why, his real greatness was quiet as a mouse. But he used to say, my true testimony is God still lives in this old house. Seldom great men will cross our path, and we know we're made better when they do. And a million friends, including Elvis, have attested, J.D., there's none greater than you. He's finally with Mary in that haven of rest. Tears and weakness no more to be yielding. Departed for heaven, 
for a concert with angels. J.D. has left the old building. Mr. Harold Gilley sings a beautiful song off of his solo project that we want you to listen to. It's a song that a very great friend of his wrote, and I think you'll enjoy this beautiful song by Mr. Harold Gilley. Let these words bless you, a song called Yesterday. Yesterday things were different Today they're different again Jesus The sparrow will find a new dwelling. The eagle will change, change his nest. But I'm holding on to the change left. One and I'm leaning on his word. Listen, now. the river will change, change its course. Yes, it will. Mountains will crumble. And they say, oh, we'll leave its mark upon us one and How about it, Brother Harold? Let's sort of live and think, Woody, let's do a song that the Palmetto State recorded 102 years ago on a cylinder. Isn't that right? And, and they had the same members. Yeah. No, this is a song that's been recorded previously by Palmetto State. It's also been recorded by the Kingsman. It's been up and down the charts more times than Pittman has gone to get Dawn's kidney pills. 
Harold is a... Uh, He's one of those wild bass singers. He ain't con <laughs> content to sing it where all the other bass singers sing it. He's got to drop down a double O F and sing it down an octave lower and all the rest of them. But I'll tell you what, he's not only sing songs like the old standard songs, like that uh, real great. Uh, don't you think he does a great job? Thank you. But we found out, uh, in fact, before he came with us, when he's recommended to us, the gentleman that recommended him to us gave me a tape to listen and said, you need to listen to this guy because you need to talk to him before you hire a bass singer. So I started listening to the tape on the way home, and the first song that come up was J.D. Sumner singing Peace in the Valley. Anybody here ever heard J.D. Sumner sing bass? Yeah. The next song came on, and it was George Johnson, the cathedral's doing Ticket to Paradise. And I enjoyed both of those, but we wanted a new bass singer. J.D. and George already had jobs. <laughs> the next guy that came along on the tape was Tennessee Ernie Ford singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. And I thought, well, something wrong because he'd been dead for a few years. <laughs> then the big chief of the statesman sang a song, and I knew he'd been dead for about 20 years. But I found out at the end of the tape that Harold was doing all these impressions of all these guys, and I actually thought it was the people doing it. And I think he does a great job. In fact, I want him to do a couple for you tonight. The first I want him to do is, is a little bit of J.D. singing Peace in the Valley. Why don't you just introduce the song like J.D. would do, Harold? All right. All right. Uh, J.D. has got a unique way of, of introducing and saying things, and I heard him say this one night, so... And I'll imitate J.D. He, he would do it like this. You know, he'd got to sit down. I, uh, I want to sing this uh, for all the fat people. Uh, fat people or happy people. Uh, you can't make skinny people happy. If you make them sell ice cream for $100 an hour, they wouldn't be happy. Fat people are happy. That's why they call the Goodmans the Happy Goodmans. They're all fat. <laughs> and there's a reason that fat people are happy. It's because they ain't hungry. Uh, <laughs> Let me do this like J.D. called Peace in the Valley for you. Ford. Anybody remember Tennessee Ernie Ford singing Sweet Hour Prayer? Sweet 
released a couple of months ago and already riding high on the cha on the chariot on the charts <laughs> uh, we're really thrilled about that we appreciate mr. Moser Lister after many many years of not writing quartet music got so excited about Jubilees <laughs> coming he said I'm gonna write y'all a song a brand new old-time quartet song so he sat down and wrote ride that chariot for us and we appreciate it and it's doing so good and we love to sing that kind of music do you really love to hear old-time quartet music well, if you don't, you're in the wrong place tonight because you got a bunch of old guys singing old songs and old style. Uh, Mr. Harold Gillis had several requests tonight. How many has ever heard Harold do one of his impersonations? Let me see your hand. Well, we've had several requests tonight for him to do this, so we're going to let him do it for you tonight. Uh, he has been known for the past few years of imitating a gentleman by the name of Mr. J.D. Sumner. How many has ever heard J.D. sing with the Stamps Quartet? For those of you that happen, he is the lowest bass singer in the world. If you don't believe it, just ask him. <laughs> he is also in the Guinness World Book of Records for being the ugly, I mean singing the lowest note ever sung by a singer anywhere. He's in the Guinness World Book of Records. But Harold looks a whole lot like J.D. and this reason he can imitate him really good. So we've had a lot of requests tonight, so we're going to turn him loose right now. We want him to come forward and, and introduce this song to you just like J.D. would. So you see if this don't sound like Mr. J.D. Sumner. Here, here's an old song that you've probably sung many times yourself called A Beautiful Life. <laughs> Each day I'll do a golden deed by helping those who are in me. My life on earth is but a span, and so. Yeah. 
Mr. J.D. Summers in the Guinness World Book of Records for hitting the double O.C. I'm going to lower this thing about four steps, and let's see if Harold can sing a double O.C. Life's evening song. Life's evening song. Is sinking low. Is sinking low. A few more days. A years ago when we did our video here he did an impression of Tennessee Ernie Ford and you really loved it I tell you what the biggest test of someone doing that is let him do it a cappella with no music no backup and just see if just his voice can make you think that Tennessee Ernie Ford here. here's one that Tennessee Ernie Ford recorded and Harold also has recorded called poor wayfaring stranger I am a poor wayfaring stranger Traveling through this world below There'll be no sickness, toil, nor danger In that bright land to which I go I'm going there to see my mother she said she'd meet me when I come I'm just going over Jordan I'm just going over I was born one morning when the sun oh. How about it for Mr. Harold Gillen? Hello, my friends, from WAXM 93.5, 50,000 watts of great entertainment pleasure. My name is Ralph Emerson, and the name of our show tonight is Gospel Star Spotlight. Tonight, we're featuring a panel of great bass singers in Southern gospel music, as well as some excerpts of their work from past and present. It's a show I think you'll enjoy, and we welcome you aboard. Tonight's show is presented by Waller Productions, organizers of the Grand Old Gospel Reunion, held each year in Greenville, South Carolina, each August. One of the largest family gatherings of Southern gospel music of its kind. And our co-host this evening is Mr. J.D. Sumner. And as we get the program underway today, we want to uh, acknowledge our co-host, as we said earlier, Mr. J.D. Sumner. Hailed as the lowest bass singer in the world. J.D., good evening and welcome to our show. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, it's good to be here on uh, WAXM, uh, on Gospel Star Spotlight, and uh, it's a pleasure. J.D., you have several things accredited to your name. 
uh, and being the uh, lowest bass singer in the world, uh, I understand you hit a note surpassed by any other bass singer in the industry. You want to tell us about this? Well, uh, Ralph, that's right. I hit a double low C. What's this to the novice ear, J.D.? Well, uh, Ralph, this is the lowest note a human voice can sing melodically. Uh, it's about 60 cycles, and I'm the man that done it. I'm the only man. Ain't nobody ever imitated, copied, duplicated, or even got close to it. And I'm the man that done it. And I sung with Elvis. Well, I knew you would get that in there, J.D. We knew you sang with Elvis. And you also have written about 500 uh, songs, I understand, and had recording. Uh, you want to tell us about this? Yeah. First song I wrote, Ralph, was called Working and I Saw Me Over Jesus. And uh, needless to say, it was far from a hit. But I've had 500 songs written and recorded, and I'm proud of it. J.D., can you hit this uh, double low C just about any time? I most certainly can. I ain't like Brock Spear. I don't have to lay down and take a nap to get my voice low. I can hit the sucker standing up, laying down sideways, raining, snowing, or sunshine. Don't matter to me. Well, why don't you give us an acapella version right here on the program this evening, and let's see just uh, what we're talking about, this double O.C. All right, let me change the microphone here. Let's see. Way home down, way home down. Well, that's pretty impressive, J.D. That's a pretty impressive note indeed. I can see why you're the only man that can do that. Uh, one more question before we move on to Mr. George Johnson. Speak with him a while. You know George, don't you? Yeah, uh, he, he sings with a local group out of Akron, Ohio. I know George. Okay, J.D. Uh, you, uh, in the writing of the 500 songs, are you currently still writing? Are you doing anything right now? Yeah, I'm uh, working uh, on a project with Reuben Bean. Uh, it's a sequel to Take Your Shoes Off, Moses. We're going to call it uh, Put Your Shoes Back On Peg. I believe it'll be a hit bigger than working in the sawmill for Jesus. I see. Well, let's move on to George Yonts just a moment. George, uh, welcome to our show. Ladies and gentlemen, for you that might not be familiar, George is the bass singer for the very prestigious Cathedral Quartet from Akron, Ohio, or from Stowe, Ohio. And George, uh, we want to talk with you just a moment and ask you uh, how you got started and uh, what promulgated the idea and so forth and uh, how long you've been singing in gospel music. Tell us something about yourself, George. Well, Ralph, I started singing with the Blue Ridge Quartet. A uh, little before that, I sang some with the Sunshine Boys. But while singing with the Blue Ridge, Glenn Payne, the old man, was singing trio at the Cathedral of Tomorrow. They called me and said, George, we want to form a quartet and want you to sing with us. And they did that because it's good. And uh, I've been singing with them now for over 25 years. Me and the old man helping each other on and off stage. And, oh, I love it already. George, here on the show tonight, I know you don't have any musical accompaniment with you, but can you give us a little taste of some of the bass singing you've been doing for so many years? Oh, I sure can, Ralph. Let's see, it would go uh, like this. I'm so tired of living in a world not my own, getting kind of homesick to go. Heaven's just the kind of place I'd like to call home. It's a place sick. where I'll be welcome, I know. You ought to retire. There are prizes in this world I'd like to attain. That's Things pitiful. I'd like to do when I can. But anything that I achieve could not be the same as this ticket that I hold in my hand. I'm getting sick already. Oh, Ralph, I'd rather hear me sing as anybody. It just thrills me to hear me sing. I'm sick of George Johnson. Now, wait a minute, J.D. I'm the man. Wait a minute, J.D. Ralph. I'm the Hold man. it now just a minute, J.D. Wait just I'm a minute. I'm sick of George Johnson. It's George's time. Well, George's well, time. I'm the man. I want you to know I'm the one that sung with Elvis. Well, we know that, J.D. We appreciate that. And we'll get back to you right now. Let's talk about this Gaither video that you did, this reunion tape. I understand that you had a part to play 
on this uh, Gaither video, on one of the Gaither videos, maybe a couple of them. You want to tell us about it? Or Alfie got me on there, and uh, uh, of all the singing I ever heard in my life, I mean, it was good. And the only two words he let me sing was, that's why, and I'm sick of that. No, how you doing, or whatever, or Vestal, I like your hair, or nothing, just that's why. And I want to tell you something else about Bill Gaither and his Gaither vocal cord band. I can take Ed and Ed and Fred and Red and the Stamps Quartet and make them uh, sound like the Cloud Indian family on a rainy Monday morning with sinus trouble after they've sung all night Sunday and never got a dime Well, now, J.D., let's not offend anyone on the show here this evening. I ain't offending nobody. I'm I'm just telling you the way it is, that we can do it. What's that you have in your hand there, J.D.? Uh, I got some tapes. I got one uh, of the man, the big chief, uh, that I sung with for many years. Uh, he, he never sung with Elvis. And I was better than him, but he was one of the greats. And uh, I wanted you to play this tape while you was honoring all these bass singers here, Ralph. Uh, here tonight on this Gospel Star Spotlight. Okay, well, let's just, uh, why don't you just, you have a tape machine there. Why don't you just go ahead and put one in and let's play it. And this is, you say this is Jim Witherington, right? That's, that's the man. We're going to listen to it right now. Lead me to the altar. No, wait a minute. That's the wrong one. That's less. I... Wait, a minute. wait a minute, Ralph. Let me turn that off. This is, I had something of him, Jim Reeves, and a bunch of them. Out. Maybe this is the right one. Let's see. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. Well, it seems and that's, I can't that's the wrong feel one. I home in Jim this Reeves. world anymore. You know what I've done with that. Here, here it is. Here's the one, the chief. I want you to listen to this. Showers, showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. We need mercy drops round us. the big chief all right jd that's great we also have another tape of a distinguished gentleman who sang so long for the blue ridge quartet after mr yance there left to go with the cathedral and his name was burl strevel and this is an excerpt of some things he did a cappella just for us and for the show tonight seems like a line going to and fro it works in many ways but when he comes around you with his mighty roar, just repeat this simple phrase. That's Mr. Burl Strevel. J.D., do you have another one there? Oh, uh, yeah, Ralph. Uh, I'm talking, I won't, before I play this, I, I'm talking about uh, Bill Gaither and his Gaither vocal cord band a while ago. I'm going to say something else. All right, uh, J.D., uh, had Michael English, that uh, famous lead singer that Gator he got. Uh, I ain't going to say nothing about Michael. He's a good singer and a good boy. But I can take my little first tenor that I stole uh, right out of the bosom of Dolly uh, Wood, and I can make him sound like Peg McCamey. Uh, okay, true. J.D., let's not offend it's anyone on the show now. Him. I come on now, uh, J.D. The truth, I'm telling you, boys, I can do it. I can do it. While we are honoring the famous bass singers of Southern gospel music this evening on Gospel Star Spotlight, we want to play another excerpt from a young fellow that uh, does a great recitation. And this is, again, done in a cappella form. This is Mr. Bob Thacker. If you didn't know me so well, Lord, you'd think I was downright hateful. Oh, I'm not forgetting the money in the mail that paid for the rent. Johnny's home from the Navy. And that good Sunday dinner, Lord, of chicken, dumplings, and gravy. And also, here's one by a man whose first love was always Southern gospel music. Lovingly referred to as the old pea picker from up around Bristol, Tennessee, the eastern part of the state, 
This is Mr. Tennessee Ernie Ford. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down, coming for to carry me home, but I know my soul is heaven bound. Coming for to carry me home, swing low. He may be good, but ah, some of the carry me home, swing I'm the low, man. sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me. I'm the man. Home. Don't forget that. Well, thank you, JD. And yes, you are the man, and we realize that. That was Tennessee Ernie Ford. I want to say something else, Ralph. I ain't talk much tonight. Uh, I'm sick of a few things. Uh, Hovey Listerine. I've been going around telling people he was Elvis's friend. Uh, tell them that Elvis put a chain around his neck. Let me tell you something. He stole his chain from a yogurt shop. Elvis put a chain around my neck because mine clearly says TCB. That's what the stamps did. We took care of business. Like I said, Hovey stole his because... That little emblem on his chain says T-C-B-Y, and I don't appreciate I'm sick of him going around telling people that he's Elvis' friend. I don't want to hear more about that. Well, anyway, thank you, J.D. Thank you so much. I think we have a little surprise for you. We're going to play this one for you right now, J.D. Honey, you lied when you said you loved me. And I had no cause to doubt you. That's a man. But I'd rather go on and hear you That's a lie. man I saw with. That's Elvis. Life. That's him. He, he, me and him took care of it. Elvis locked me, and I saw him him six years ago. Oh, I'm glad you played that. Uh, I really am. Uh, Me and Elvis were friends. Ovi Listerine going around lying about him giving him a chain. He stole his from a yogurt shop. I want to make that perfectly, immolately clear, uh, sufferatically clear. And I, I thank you for playing that, Ralph. Uh, I appreciate that. What did you tell me, George, about J.D. going to sleep in church one night before a concert? Well, Ralph, uh, he went to church, and they were going to sing. And J.D. went to sleep and laid his head back over the seat with his mouth wide open. And the preacher was preaching and sucking on a lemon to keep his voice clear, you know. He saw J.D. asleep and... Walked down and squeezed some of that strong lemon juice down his throat. J.D. woke up and come out of there and said, Pray for me, preacher. Said, I've sat right here and my gallbladder's busted. <laughs> that's all right, George. That's all uh, right. Yeah, that's all right, George. That's, that's, sit down. Won't you retire? Uh, I'm, I'm getting sick of hearing you anyway. Well, that's all the time we have, ladies and gentlemen. On our show, we thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you'll be a part of our program next week as we feature more gospel greats on Gospel Star Spotlight. Our program tonight has been presented by Mr. Charlie Waller Productions, organizers of the Grand Old Gospel Reunion held each August in Greenville, South Carolina, reminding you one of the largest family gatherings of Southern gospel music of its kind. For more information on the Grand Old Gospel Reunion, you may phone area code 803-877-6923. Until next time, take us home, Mr. Whitehurst.